be rain to be sworn in as the first BJP Chief Minister of Manipur. Governor Dr. Najma Habtullah claims the BJP has support of more than 30 elected members. Senior BJP leader Manohar Parikar sworn in as the new Chief Minister of Goa. And sport events in Thabal Tomba mark the Yaoksang celebration. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Lighting Mamanika with the latest news updates. Nongthumbam Birain will be sworn in as the new Chief Minister of Manipur tomorrow afternoon. Birain has been elected from Hainan constituency. The swearing in ceremony will be held at the Raj Bhavan. The swearing in ceremony will be attended by BJP National President Amit Shah and Chief Ministers of three states Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, and Sikkim. Speaking to Impact News, BJP Manipur in charge Pralad Singh Patil today says, along with the Chief minister, some of the elected members of other parties will also be sworn in as ministers. The BJP leader also says a grand reception for the elected members of the BJP and other parties which are part of the BJP government will be held after the swearing-in ceremony at the BJP head office at Nijai Pachutik. BJP National President Amit Shah, Chief Ministers of Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim and state BJP leaders will attend the event. कल सपत होगी सपत के बाद जो अधिकार हमारा है भारतीय जनता पार्टी का सपत के बाद में माननीय राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष अमित शाह जी जो कल सपत में शामिल होने वाले हैं असम अरुणाचल और सिक्किम के मुख्यमंत्री तीनों के आने की संभावना है तो सपत के बाद हमारे जो मुख्यमंत्री हैं वो पार्टी वापस आएंगे माननीय राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष जी को लेकर पर यहां पर हमारे कार्यकर्ताओं के बीच में उन सबका अभिनंदन होगा वो जहां हम खड़े हैं ये हमारा वेन्यू होगा ये हमारा पब्लिक कार्यक्रम जो होगा वो यहाँ पर होगा ये जब गवर्नर के यहाँ शपथ ले लेंगे तो आप सबको पता चल जाएगा बल्कि आप ही हम लोगों को बताने वाले हैं कौन कौन से लोग शपथ ले रहे हैं नहीं स्वाभाविक है कि मिनिस्ट्री लेगी मिनिस्ट्री शपथ Governor Dr. Najma Ahabdullah has announced that the new BJP government will be sworn in tomorrow at 1 p.m. Speaking to media persons at Rajbhavan this evening, the governor said the chief minister along with some ministers will be sworn in tomorrow. Responding to media query, Dr. Najma Ahabdullah said the BJP has support of more than 30 elected members. She also stressed the need for a good opposition. BJP led group is invited to form tomorrow. I've been asked tomorrow at one o'clock. You see the responsibility of the governor wasted by the constitution of India is to weigh and measure the stability of the state. I know Congress of God is the single largest party, but it is not incumbent on the pres on the governor necessarily and yesterday's statement um, the ruling of the Supreme Court also says the responsibility of the governor is to see who has got majority. Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur, Desam, has warned against induction of elected member from Zirubam constituency, Asab Odin, in the formation of the new government. Speaking at a press meet at Desam's office at Sagolban Moirang Lairak, Desam General Secretary Namairapam Edison Maitai says Asab Odin is not an indigenous people of the state. He said it is very unfortunate that political parties are trying to get his support in the formation of the government. He warned that Desam will socially boycott the politics party which makes him part of the government. Desam also cautioned the people against the increasing population of migrants in assembly constituencies including many in the heart of the city and Suknu. Political parties in a mitoki mokhong ko laga koi langak chukli pai na na wo khana basi mani purgi puari da masi khwai diga na laibak thiba khwai diga paang da bami singta na tau gada ba adu gumba thabak ni hai da na koi desam ki maike jagi koi thamzari mani purgi assembly da paas to khiba bil ahum dugi Matang na chap chaba tang daang ba ma khang diri fao wa hari ba jiri ba mdi karak li ba asap udin hari ba independent MLA si kwenye desa ma ma di masi miyam na social boycott tau ba gi masi kwenye philips lau gani aduga hari ba MLA si phaan anabu hona ri ba 
political parties in Azu, Hari, Mu State, Mapumweba, responsibility Shinaga, Hari, Mitopsi, Matinga Lunana, Manipura came a government, Shem Taragadi, Mitopsi, Konsal Liba, Natural Loksha Liba, Adugumo political party the Zu, Leva, Miangi, Mayokta Liba, political party in Hydena, the Sam Logzagani, Amadi Leva, Miam, Hari, political party, when a boycott of Wogi. Piriapsi hoy lower kani lady ba political party sing stage da thousand ni ba appeal de ngay ngay ki political gain phang na ba shaman mitop maya mama pusala aga shigum ba water list hapsan mana ching bagi thawong si political party sing na na tragna masi political leader sing na masi shungto uktau roy da ba thawang ni dona politics thawu matam da lay ba ki khunai ki interest da yam na asano miyeng amago le na politics thawbiu. Even after the results of the 11th Manipur Assembly elections are announced and the BJP is busy preparing for the swearing-in of the new chief minister, people continue to protest against poll-related violent incidents in Andhra constituency. People today protested the damage of houses of five BJP workers by suspected Congress workers in the constituency. The incident happened on the 9th of this month around 9.30 p.m. The houses are of S. Dayananda, C. H. Subal, P. H. Dharmachandra, A. Buddha and C. H. Ingocha. Women from polling station 1 and 1 to 10 took part in the protest. A civic action program was organized by 87 CRPF under supervision of Commandant Shunil Kumar today at Unit Headquarters in Uchathal, Ziribam. As part of the program, school uniforms were also distributed to the children of New Life Academy at Uchathal. Governor Dr. Najma Habdullah yesterday witnessed holy performance by different holy groups at the Rajpavan. Lamabam Holy Committee of Nagamapal and Sri Sri Bijoy Govinda Sringar Pala Sagolban performed at the Rajpavan. Yaksang Festival was also celebrated at Navadip Dham in Nadia district of West Bengal. The seven-day holy festival was held from March 7 to 13 at the shrine of Sri Sri Anu Mahaprabhu Purana Rajbari. The event was jointly organized by Sri Anu Mahaprabhu Sevayas Committee and Raja Sri Vegachandra Memorial Trust on the 532nd birth anniversary day of Sri Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Devotees from Manipur and Assam came to participate in the festival. Performances of Holi, Wari Liba and Ras Lila highlighted the celebrations. They also burnt a Yaosang Haz on the full moon night at Flamta. The stage is set for Miss Manipur Queen 2017, organized by Robert Naurim Studio and Academy. The event will be held on March 16. Twenty contestants are participating in the pageant. Prior to the pageant, the contestants were trained and groomed by renowned choreographer of India Achala Sachdev as Hotel Classic Not AOC. The renowned designer who took the vital role in organizing the pageant assured that the pageant will create a history in Manipur. He said one of the top three contestants in Miss Manipur Queen 2017 will get a ticket to Femina Miss India Finale Mumbai 2017 representing Manipur. Event City Aquina State Kit Talent Ama Sidaki Selector Rakui National Level Platform the India Gavina the Aquatic Chauba Pageant High Tarako Beauty the Quite a Pageant Aquatic Chauba Contessi Femina Miss India Haina Kangai Aduga Sigi Pageant Sigi Associate Raga Aquigi State Level the Gaki Bunny Brigi Angam Kakna Talent Kakna Quina National Level the Quigi represent or state civil represent or a quick puzzle a quick talent amadi a quick hasing baduga inspiration to the youth some hanging history that it has to be home away the magdaina sigi pageant see since evening achala such dave expressed satisfaction that she could be part of miss manipur queen contest she said manipur has many talents and if the girls are trained and groomed in the right way they can reach the national and international level miss manipur queen 2017 will be held at classic grand aging mirong on march 16. the event is sponsored by classic group of hotels with associate partner raj enterprises femna miss india priyadarsh nichatji manipur actor tontoy telegraph imphal correspondent kellen Tokchom, social actor Dr. Dhanavir Laishram and Chairperson of Manipur State Commission for Women, Dr. K. Sobita, will be the jury members of the pageant. 
I think they're really sweet and they're so adorable. I really feel that they have some exposure, but not a lot of it. This is going to really help them build their confidence a lot more and get exposure to uh, a bigger world because they do have dreams and aspirations like everybody does but we also need a way and a channel to go ahead with them so i'm very i think they they're very lucky they have this opportunity to do so i think it's a great opportunity for us models of manipur who is less privileged le given less opportunity to be a part of bigger section i would like to extend my heartiest gratitude to sir robert and also our ma'am acharya for sharing us so many knowledge and also giving us a great grooming session let's take a short break we'll be back with more news updates welcome back you're watching prime time english news a supreme court bench a special bench headed by chief justice jskr has ordered a floor test to be conducted in goa assembly at 11 am on march 16 but refused to stay the oath taking of bjp's manohar parikar as the new chief minister of the state the supreme court bench says we find that a sensitive issue like this can be solved by directing the floor test at the earliest earlier governor mridula sinha has given parikar 15 days from his swearing in today to prove his majority in the house elections to the 40 seat Goa Assembly had thrown up a hung house with the Congress leading with 17 seats and BJP with 13. But BJP managed to cross the halfway mark with post poll support from the Maharashtravati Gomantak Party, Goa Forward Party, and three independents. Congress state leader Chandrakant Kalevar. Kavlekar moved the SC on Sunday and despite the courts being closed for Holly, Chief Justice Kehar set up a special bench to hear the plea ahead of Parikar swearing in the next day. The court has also asked both parties to name a leader who could be an interim speaker. Senior BJP leader Manohar Parikar was sworn in as the new Chief Minister of Goa this evening. Governor Dr. Mirdula Sinha administered the order of office and secrecy to him and Council of Ministers at the ceremony at Rajavavan in Panaji. Manohar Parikar resigned as defense, defense Minister in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's cabinet to return to his home state and to the post he held before he was called in to Delhi. BJP National President Amit Shah, Union Ministers Venkaya Naidu, Nitin Gadkari, J.D. Nadda and others attended the function. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has congratulated Chief Minister of Goa Manohar Parikar and his team on being sworn in. In a tweet, Modi conveyed his best wishes to them and hopes that Goa will reach new heights of progress. Slamming the Bharatiya Janata Party for allegedly influencing the decision of the governors of Goa and Manipur in government formation of their respective states, the Congress has branded development as unconstitutional. Speaking to ANI, Congress leader Sandeep Dixit accused the BJP of indulging in horse trading in Goa and Manipur. He said the governors rushed into the decision without consulting the party and lead in the recent assembly polls in the states. The Congress leader stated that the governors have made it clear that the decision has been influenced by the center. This is completely unconstitutional and it is an insult to the Congress mandate given by the locals in Goa and Manipur. Parliament has passed the Enemy Property Amendment and Validata Validation Bill 2016 with the Lok Sabha approving the amendments made by the bill today. The Rajya Sabha has passed the bill with some amendments on Friday. The amendments to the bill in the Lok Sabha were moved by Home Minister Rajnath Singh. The bill will replace the ordinance promulgated by the government. It guards against claims of succession or transfer of properties left by people who migrated to Pakistan and China after wars. The bill seeks to amend the Enemy Property Act 1968 to vest all rights, titles and interests over enemy property in the custodian. It also declares transfer of enemy property by the enemy conducted under the Act to be void. Mangal Rural today organized a half marathon on the theme Fight for a Common Cause. The first half marathon of Mangal Rural was flag off from Sekmai. Kongjeng Leima Ground and Kongampat Mantri Lekai 
playground was the final destination. Proprietor of Mangal Rural Surjit Ningtaujam says the people in the state still face the problem of non-availability of water and electricity. He said the half marathon was organized to raise awareness about the problem. Surjit said electricity and water should be provided to rural and interior areas to ensure uniform development in the state. Prizes were also distributed to winners at Kongampath Mantri Lekai playground. It may be mentioned that Mangal Rural have been providing solar lighting system in rural areas since 2011. It has so far provided solar light to 7,000 households. Manipur da mai phang da bagya waaba, adhi thakpa ishing minthi na phang da bagya waaba, adhi internet facilities yam limited oe bagya waaba. Hai iba awaaba sinse, Manipur da khuda amida iba jati, community khudi matta naab lai na amane. Ta wada bu, ay koi ki lai na iba community sinse na maagi maagi jati ki, community ki yam na pick per specific oe ba wakal sinse, zoom concentrate ta wai hai na thawa yao sin ki vidu na. Ay koi na ngasi phang da ba basic infrastructure thak na ba ishing, अरे मैं इंगान हैं बगी इंदा मुझे अपने ना पुण्य लांग के मिल रहे हैं हाय रिबर स्पेशिक भी कोई बात अपने कम्युनिटी की वाकलों ने ही ना लुक्सन की दिना अपने ना पंगम थोपा बेसिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सिंह से तना ना जुता लो रहे now news from the world of sports. Yaoxing Sports Festival continue in various parts of the state on the third day of the festival today. Boys and girls competed in different sport events in the sports festival organized by many localities. In Punava Ama Amasung Anisuba event for under 16 boys of the second Kangle Park Thangda Championship 2017, organized by Kangle Park Students Association at Yumnam Huidrom Makalikai, Huidrom Nganthoiba in 54 kg category, Nauba Maisnam in 58 kg category, Yumnam Deepak in 62 kg, and Sapam Kenchit in 66 kg back the first position. In under 16 girls, Longjam Uma in 36 category, Yumnam Pinky in 40 kg, Nome Kapam. Anjali in 44 kg, Thongnaozam Priyanka Chanu in 48 kg, Longjam Sophia Chanu in 52 kg, Oinam Gita in 56 kg, Laurimba Monica in 60 kg and Pebam Chauba in 64 kg won the first place. Thabal Chomba, which is an integral part of the Yaosung festival, is being organized in different areas of the state in the evening. As done every year, people have been organizing Thabal Chomba from the first day of the festival. Young boys and girls were seen taking part in Thabal Chomba in various localities. Before we end, a quick look at headlines once again. Nongtombo Birain to be sworn in as the first BJP Chief Minister of Manipur tomorrow. Governor Dr. Najma Habtullah says the BJP has support of more than 30 elected members. Senior BJP leader Manohar Parikar sworn in as the new Chief Minister of Goa. And sport events in Thabal Tomba mark the Yaosan celebrations. 